Camera footage on the 25th of January 2019 shows hazardous wave overtopping for pedestrians trying to access the promenade at Crosby. The wire wall system was deployed and we used the wire just inland of the hand railing to measure the wave overtopping discharge posing a hazard to people. The wave overtopping occurred for a couple of hours at high spring tide due to onshore winds. The waves came in groups causing overtopping with calm intervals in between. Maximum wave overtopping discharge occurs around 10 minutes before the predicted time of high tide. The wave heights at the toe of the structure were modelled to be up to 87 centimetres when the tide inundated the lower section of the stepped revetment. The wave overtopping peaked about 10 minutes before the predicted time of high tide. The maximum individual wave overtopping volume was 2,480 litres per metre. Using a 5 minute data processing interval, the mean overtopping discharge varied from 3 to 30 litres per metre per second. The discharge was due to 9 overtopping waves passing inland of the hand railing within 5 minutes. Using a 15 minute data processing interval, the mean overtopping discharge varied from 3 to 10 litres per metre per second. The maximum discharge was due to 10 overtopping waves passing inland of the hand railing within 15 minutes. We hope these measurements are useful when setting hazard safety thresholds for new scheme design and alert thresholds within flood forecasting services.